Hey, what's up everyone? It's your girl Brandy Shanae and today I'll be sharing with you part two of my November book haul. This is like new releases, book mail, pre-orders, and just books that I bought because I want to read the series and or read a particular book. So if you want to know what's inside of all these packages and boxes, please stay tuned. <music> And I am back. So like I said before, this is going to be November book haul part two. Um, for my part one, I'll leave up above. Technically, it'll be in the corner. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. And let's see what all the books that I received. And like I said, some of it is bookish mail as well. So some of these are going to be a big surprise to me. So anyways, the first thing I'll start with what I got from Barnes Nobles that I want to start reading. So in my first book haul, you'll see that I had gotten The Last Wish. That's the first book of the Witcher series. And so I wanted to get the other books. So one of the books I, that I got was The Witcher Blood of Elves. Um, and I cannot pr pronounce the author's name. I do apologize. But I've been, I love The Witcher. I love The Witcher on Netflix. And just hearing the sad news that Henry Cavill will no longer be The Witcher uh, in the fourth season and, and so on. I'm like, okay, after the thir third season, I probably won't watch it anymore. Uh, so I rather just read the books because apparently also, which is another thing why Henry Cavill left is because the writer um, for the, the series is drifting away from what's happening in the books itself, which is why Henry Cavill wanted to was inspired and wanted to be the Witcher in the first place because he loved the series. He, he loved the books and season, you know, season one, he's like, okay, season two, he's like, oh, no, you're drifting away from the storyline. And apparently what's happening in the series is not what's happening at all in the books. So it's like, I'd rather read the books at this point, but I will watch season three because that's Henry Cavill is still in season three. But after that, I'm done watching it. So I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and get the books. So this is one of the books. I don't remember what number it is. Um, it's just one of them. Uh, but like I said, this is The Witcher Blood of Elves. And these are the new editions, uh, new hardback, hardcover editions that are now coming out. Um, so here's what it looks like. And I do love the covers. It's really beautiful. And then if I take the dust jacket off, it has something on here. So it says, I'll carry on killing monsters in the ruins of this world until some monsters kills me. That is my fate, my reason, my life, and my attitude to the world. And it is not what I chose. It is, it was chosen for me by Geralt of Rivia. So we have that. And then here is what the end pages looks like, which is a map. And this is of the North Sea, Isles of Skellige, Solden, Dola Angra, Adern, Cadwin, Illyria has all the different places. And then here is what it looks like as well on the other side. So yeah, I wanted to get the series. So I'm like, why not? And I think that all of the editions for uh, these particular editions are now out. So I'm really excited to start reading them. I was trying to read the first book this month, but I feel like I should just start fresh and start in January of 2023 and then go from there. And I do plan on doing book reviews for each book that I read in the series. So I got this one. And then the next one I got is The Witcher, The Time of Contempt. And I believe this has Yin, I think it might be Yennefer. I'm not sure. I'm not going to guess. But I know for the second, the actual second book in the series has Yennefer on it, which is the illustrated edition, which I did pre-order. That comes out uh, in December. Um, but here is the other book and it's purple. Uh, and like I said, it says The Witcher, The Time of Contempt. And then even on the back it says a time of contempt is approaching. Witcher, my friend, a time of great and utter contempt. You have to adapt. What I'm proposing is a simple solution. Someone will die. Someone else can live. So let me see. Oh, I got my receipt in there. So I'm sure this is going to match all the other books. So on this one, it says, do you know when stories stop being stories? The moment someone begins to believe in them. And that's said by Cod Codringer. So it's said by that, and here is what it looks like with the end pages. It has the map, but it's purple this time. And then it looks like this. So yeah, so I got both of those books. I do plan on getting the other one. Like I said, I had already pre-ordered the illustrated edition, which for sure has Yennefer on the cover. Um, so I'm really excited to get into the series. I think I need uh, three more 
like after so after I pre-ordered um, my pre-order comes in in December I think I have like three more books I need to get and then I'll have completed on getting these and then I can start reading them in January so those are the two books I got from Barnes & Noble particularly and then the next one I have here is a fairy loot box um, I think this is the young adult box I'm not sure I really do not remember <laughs> which month this like what theme of this is what month this is because they have been behind with shipping which is fine I'm still glad that I'm getting them so this is yes this is a November box and it is bad blood which I already know what book this is so let me get the book out so this will be my third edition because I have the um indie uh cover I have another cover that was sent by Orbit sent to me by Orbit and then this is the Fairloo edition so let's see what it looks like and it is this a diary of blood by S.T. Gibson desire obsession control so since I have the other ones behind me I will show you what the original covers look like so this is what the original cover looks like. You cannot find this anywhere. Um, this is, I got this on Amazon like last year. So you cannot get this book anymore unless somebody is selling it, which I'm pretty sure is probably a, a lot of money for. But this is the original cover. And then this is the book that Orbit sent me. So this is what it looks like. And then here is the Fairloot edition. So you can see the difference between the three, of course. And so, yeah. And then look at the, like the, the edges the sprayed edges the stenciled edges like that is really really beautiful really really beautiful and I also love the cover I like the red I like the gold trim going around it it's really really pr pretty and then if I take the dust jacket off this is what it looks like when it's naked oh just look at that and this is obviously where they live just look at that just just beautiful and then this is what the end papers look like. Sorry about the glare. Just look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. And then of course, this is, I believe, signed by the author, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe not, because I don't see it. Because <laughs> I don't see the signature. So I don't think it was signed this time. Um, but I do appreciate this edition. So I definitely will take it. And then let me, if you haven't read this book, um, I will also read the synopsis for you as well. So it says, this is my last love letter to you, though some would call it a confession. Saved from the brink of death by a mysterious stranger, Constanta is transformed from a medieval, medieval peasant into a bride fit for an undying king. But when Dracula draws a cunning aristocrat and a starving artist into his web of passion and deceit, Constanta realizes that her beloved is capable of terrible things. Finding comfort in the arms of her rival consort, she begins to unravel their husband's dark secrets. With the lives of everyone she loves on the line, Constanta will have to choose between her own freedom and her love for her husband. But bonds forged by blood can only be broken by death. And it says, uh, S.T. Gibson's sensational novel is the darkly seductive tale of Dracula's first bride, bride Constanta. So here we are. I just, I'm glad. So I have three editions, so I will take it. I will definitely take it in having three editions for these. And then even for the spoiler card, it says our feature book of the month is A Diary of Blood by S.T. Gibson. A Diary of Blood is a delicious and rich D Dracula retelling. Our heroine, Constanza, is saved by a mysterious and charming stranger who makes her his wife. As with all these foul, however, foul, charm fades eventually and she realizes her beloved might be more wicked than she ever imagined and then it says your fair loot exclusive edition come comes with an exclusive cover digital sprayed edges artwork on the hardback and in papers and there is also an afterward printed at the end so there is an afterward so that's that's neat to have that afterward uh, let's see if i can find it mm. Yep, there's an afterward right here. So yeah, definitely cannot wait. After this is, I will always reread this. It's so good. So if you haven't picked it up, I suggest you do, do so because you are missing out. So that is my little fairy, fairy loot unboxing for November called Bad Blood. So there is that box. Next package is from Abrams, The Art of Books. 
I don't know what it is, but I'm going to open it. Let's see? Oh, okay. Okay, so this is for the book that I have. It's called Lark and Kasim, um, Start a Revolution. This is by Kaysen Alexander. And so I uh, sent in my receipt and I was able to get this. So here is a little thing where I could put my pencils in. And it says, speak your truth, love yourself, start your own revolution. And this is by Lark and Kasim, Start a Revolution by Casey Callender. So there is that. So cannot wait to put in my whatever my markers pencils pens whatever can go in here so that's perfect next thing is from mcmillan's let's open this one oh snap okay so i got an arc for Blood Debts by Terry J. Benton Walker. Oh my God. Oh, it's one of my anticipated reads of next year. Oh, and this comes out in April of 2023. And I will be doing a book review for this. So stay tuned for that, you guys. Stay tuned. But just look at this cover. It is stunning. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my God. I'm excited. So excited for this. It says, Justice Will Reign, a deadly tale of sacrifice and betrayal in a magical modern day New Orleans. 30 years after the greatest magical massacre in their city's history, the rightful heirs of a stolen throne set out to right the wrongs in their family's past and bring about the justice they're owed. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. Uh, and it says, Dear reviewer, Tortine is thrilled to present the highly anticipated release of Blood Debts, which is on sale April 4th of 2023. And it says, Blood Debts opens with the young woman murdered, a family lynched, and a throne stolen. On the anniversary of these brutal events, Clement and Christina Turo, the 16-year-old's twin heirs to the powerful, magical, dethroned family, are mourning their father and caring for their sick mother until, by chance, they discover their mother isn't sick. She's cursed. Cursed by someone on the very magic council their family used to rule, someone who will come for them next. And then it says, Christina and Clement used to be each other's most trusted confidant and friend. Now they barely speak. But if they have any hope of discovering who is coming after their family, they'll have to find a way to trust each other and their family's magic. All while solving the decades old murder that sparked the still rising tensions between cities magical and non-magical communities. And if they don't succeed, New Orleans may see another massacre or worse. So, oh, this sounds really, really good. And it's, a, it's considered a unique YA contemporary fantasy that is sure to appeal to fans of American Horror Story, Covenant, and Game of Thrones. So I'm definitely looking forward for this. And it says, with a fresh take on a unique magic system and a story that centers Black and Black LGBT, LGBTQ plus characters. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Thank you so much. I cannot wait to read this. <laughs> okay. Oh my, yep. I'm gonna be reading this right away. So I got that, was not expecting that. So that's cool and that's perfect. Okay, the next thing I have here is also from Macmillan. It says Macmillan Universal. So let's see what's in here. I, I'm thinking it's a poster from how like flat this, this little package is. So let's give it a try in here and see what's in it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, so this is a poster for um, uh, by uh, for Marissa Meyer because she just released Cursed, Cursed, excuse me, and then here is the poster with all the characters. So I have this. This is really cool. I need to get a frame for them. So I'm gonna stick this back in the box so that way it stays flat and not all like uh, you know scrunched up somewhere. So let me put this back in there if I can. There we go. All right, I'm gonna put it right somewhere. <laughs> I usually put my posters right here, so I'll put it right there. Okay, next thing. Um, okay, I'll pick this package. <laughs> and this is a pre-order. So this is from Barnes & Noble. Ah, I figured it was this one. 
Now this is by Rebecca Rowan Horse and it is Thread of Angels. So this just came out recently, so I'm really excited to read this. So with the synopsis, I'll gladly read. It's high in the remote mountains, remote mountains. The town of Goetta is, is booming as pros prospectors from near and far come to mind the powerful new element divinity. Divinity is the remains of the body of the rebel Abaddon, who fell to earth during heaven's war, and it powers the world's most inventive and innovative technologies, ushering a new age of progress. However, only the descendants of those who re rebelled, called the Fallen, possess the ability to see the rich loads of the precious element. That, uh, that makes them a necessary evil among the good and righteous people called the elect in Gotia, a town segre segre segregated by ancestry and class. Celeste and Mario are two, are two Fallen sisters, bound by blood but raised in separate worlds. Celeste grew up with her father, passing in privileged elect society, while Mariel stayed with their mother in the fallen slums of Goetia. Upon her father's death, Celeste returns to Goetia and, and reunites with Mariel. Mariel is a great beauty with an, with an angelic voice, and Celeste, who racked with guilt for having left her sister behind, becomes her fiercest protector. When Mariel, when Mariel is accused of murdering a virtue, a member of the powerful order of the archangels that rule Goetia, Celeste must take on the role of advocatus, double eye and defend her sister in the secretive courts of the virtue celeste aided by her ex-lover abraxas who was once one of the rebels great generals set out to prove mariel's innocence but powerful forces among the virtues and the elect mining barons don't want celeste prying into their business and mariel has secrets of her own to protect in this dark fantasy from the best-selling mastermind rebecca rowan horse so this sounds, looks really good. It sounds really interesting and it's not very long. It's literally uh, 197 pages long. So I'm really looking forward to reading this. This sounds really good. Um, I was, I, for some reason, I wasn't expecting her to come out with anything else besides um, Favorite Star this year, but I'm really surprised she has this and I'm really looking forward to reading this. So I cannot wait to get into this one. Next thing is something that I pre-ordered because I love book sleeves and I really love this company uh, they do a, do a fantastic job with their designs and the fabric that they um, that they use and so I got this from a uh, dreaming of Seely and it's a uh, it's bespoke book sleeves and accessories for every reader um, so this is their little business card if you want to give them a try if you want you know want to look at on their website and see what book sleeves they have so there is that. And then on the back says, Brandy, thank you for your order. Um, I hope that you enjoy using your new book sleeve. And that was said by Monica. So we have that. I'm going to leave that here because I definitely want to keep that. And so I saw this and I'm like, I need it. I need it. All right. So here is the book sleeve. This is Michonne from The Walking Dead. And that's the main reason why I got it because I love Michonne. I love the the actress. I just love the, the actress overall because she also plays Okoye in uh, Black Panther. So I love it. So I had to get this. And I just, I love this. So, and I got a large one. So it'll fit a, like a paperback, a hardcover, anything. So yeah, so I got me a book sleeve and it's just black. And it's perfect. So I'm gonna definitely be using this. Next one is from Simon and Schuster right, right here. So let's see what's in this one. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Alright, and I'll be doing a book review for this. And one of my anticipated reads of next year, and that is Delicious Monsters by LaSalle Sanbury. Oh my god. Oh my. I was not expecting on getting the arc, but I'll let y'all know that once I saw this book and the cover reveal, I definitely went ahead and um, pre-ordered it. So I'm really excited to read this and the cover is just beautiful. Like just beautiful and stunning. And then even on the back, it says Daisy sees dead people. Something impossible to forget in bustling ghost packed Toronto. She usually manages to deal with her unwanted ability, but she's completely unprepared or yeah, unprepared to be dumped by her boyfriend. So when her mother inherits a secluded mansion in Northern Ontario, where she spent her childhood summers, Daisy jumps at the chance to escape. 
but the house is nothing like Daisy expects and she begins to realize that her experience with the supernatural might be no match for her mother's secrets nor what lurks within these walls. A decade later Brittany is desperate to get out from under the thumb of her abusive mother. A best-selling author who claims her stay at Miracle Mansion allowed her to see the air of her ways but Brittany knows that's nothing but a sham. She decides the new season of her popular Hunted Web series will uncover what happened to a young black girl in the mansion 10 years prior and finally expose her mother's lies. But as she gets more wrapped up in the investigation, she'll have to decide if she can only bring one story to light, which one, matter, which one matters most, Daisy's or her own. As Brittany investigates the mansion in the present, Daisy's story runs parallel in the past, both timelines propelling the girls to face the most dangerous monster monsters of all those that hide in plain sight so this comes out in february of 2023 uh, which it says here um i'm really excited to get into this and definitely read it and like i said you'll definitely be receiving a book review from me um but this is here is the book so here's that next one is from simon and schuster so let's get it let's see what's in this one Oh, snap I got two <laughs> so I got two so I could really do a giveaway oh my god all right that's perfect so I have two copies of this so that's cool next this is from Macmillan oh wow <laughs> oh god yep another giveaway another giveaway I got blood debts <laughs> so literally I have two copies of blood debts and of delicious monsters so there'll probably be a giveaway probably coming your way really soon so I got two of these that next is a, a fairy loop box I'm not sure what the theme is but let's see what's inside what book this one is spoiler card in here so they might have forgotten maybe let's see ah it's in here okay so the spoiler card this is October this is October book of and the theme was dystopia which is right here and then here is the book by Veronica Roth poster girl this is the fair loot edition and on the back it says a fallen regime a missing child a change at freedom and then here are the stenciled sprayed edges which is really beautiful and then if i take the dust jacket off this is what it looks like it says what's right is right so there's that and then also here's what the end pages look like the end papers so like that and then on the other side looks like this so let me see what this is about. I really, I've seen um, the other editions of this book, you know, the, with the regular cover. Um, and I'm like, what is this about? I'm, I'm really interested to find out. So let me see. Let's read the synopsis. So it says, what's right is right. Sonia Contour knows the slogan. She lived by it for most of her life. For decades, everyone in the Seattle, Portland megalopolis lived under it, as well as a constant surveillance in the form of the insight, an ocular implant that tracked every word and every action rewarding or punishing by a rigid moral code set forth by the delegation. Then there was a revolution. The delegation fell. Its most valuable members were locked in the aperture, a prison on the outskirts of the city, and everyone else now free from the insights monitoring monitoring went on their went with their lives. Or excuse me, went on with their lives. Sonia, former postal girl for the delegation, has been in prison for ten years when an old enemy comes to her with a deal. Find a missing girl who was stolen from her parents by the old regime and earn her freedom. The path Sonya takes to find the child will lead her through an unfamiliar, crooked post-delegation world where she finds herself digging deeper into the past and her family's dark secrets than she ever wanted to. It says, with wit razor-sharp prose, Poster Girl is a haunting dystopian mystery that explores the expanding role of surveillance on society, an inescapable reality that we welcome all too easily. Hmm. 
this sounds really interesting so I'm really looking forward to reading and you know this is the author of the Divergent series which I haven't read but I, I watched the movies and I really enjoyed it so yeah I think I'm gonna give this a try it looks really interesting um so yeah I definitely am on look for this so and read it so we, I got this next thing is from Barnes & Noble Ah, and this is another a series that I, I, I started when I uh, during Black Weenathon and I want to continue on doing that and read this book in December and that is The Living Blood <sighs> and I'm really loving this cover and it says uh, even a blurb by Octavia Butler said um it says do uh do has become a modern or excuse me not Octavia Butler excuse me it just says do do has become a modern day Octavia Octavia Butler, a talented storyteller who stands tall among her horror con cohorts and Rice and Stephen King. That was said by the the Boston Globe. Sorry, I'm speaking and barely seen to come out. But yeah, this is for the um the Immortal series. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this. This is the second book. Um, I read the first book in Black uh, during Black Queen Thon, and I really loved it. And I now see why people are annoyed with Jessica. But I definitely want to continue with the series. So I went ahead and got this as well. Next one. Let's see what's in here. This is from Hachette's book, book group. Ah, and this is Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan. All right. I think I have another one. I thought I had a copy. Maybe I didn't. But here it is. And I do love this cover so, so much. And I want to read more romance books next year as well. So I have a lot of goals that I'm giving myself for next year. Um, but yeah, I received this. This is a finished copy and it looks really, really good. Even on the back it says, their love was supposed to last forever. But when life delivered blow after devastating blow, Yasmin and Josiah Wade found that love alone couldn't solve or save everything. It couldn't save their marriage. Jasmine wasn't prepared for how her life fell apart, but she's finally starting to find her joy again. She and Josiah have found a new rhythm, co-parenting their two kids and running a thriving business together. Yet, like magnets, they're always drawn back to each other, and now they're beginning to wonder if they're truly ready to let go of everything they once had. Soon, one stolen kiss leads to another and then more. It's hot, it's illicit, it's all good until old wounds reopen. It is too late for them to find forever, or could they even be better the second time around? So this sounds really good and really interesting. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to reading it. And I, yeah, just love this cover. It's beautiful. So I'll be getting reading that some, sometime next year. I'm trying to set a goal for myself. Um, and, you know, read a lot of books I want to read and get to and try to uh broaden my horizons like I'm definitely another goal is to read more nonfiction next year as well which I want to read a nonfiction, at least one book each month so that's another goal that I'm putting uh, setting myself for so yeah a lot of goals that has to be met next year which I don't mind I like setting goals for myself I think it's good to do that you know the next book is from Barnes and Noble and I had I ordered this because I love this the series and um, this is a manga this is the third uh, manga for the series and that is a galaxy next door this is the third volume and yeah I really man I've been going through manga like crazy this month and you know I <laughs> and ever since like uh, Ashley from the bookish realm like uh told me about this series I've been addicted <laughs> I have been addicted and even like this new series that I found out that um uh Shay uh had did a book review for or a review for for a certain manga I'm like okay I want to read this series too so <laughs> and even Izzy with her recommendations man but yeah so yeah I'm I'm getting addicted to manga I need to chill out um but yeah this is the third volume it says, um, on the outside, Ichiro and Shayuri are the perfect couple with a comfortable blossoming relationship that seems to be heading towards marriage. In reality, they are hindered by a mysterious engagement pact, which has the power to, to inflict one-sided retribution upon Ichiro whenever Shayuri feels upset. Having caught wind of the situation, Shayuri's parents show up out of the blue to confront them, determined to separate the couple and bring their daughter back to the island. Ichiro and Shayuri will have to stand together to brave her parents' disapproval. Although, could this finally mean a solution to annulling the pact? And it even says a sweet, a sweet story of first love from the creator of the hit manga and anime, Sweetness and Lightning. 
and in the back it says meet the parents <laughs> so I think this 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 is just really cute so I'm really I pre-ordered the other volumes that'll be coming out gradually next year um but I read the first two volumes and I definitely be reading this really really soon just to find out what happens next since she since her parents uh leave the island to go get her to bring her back home so yep I got this last but not least this is my book of the month pick for November so I'm definitely going to open this. This was something that I wanted to read this month, but I doubt I'll get to. So I'm going to try to read it in December. So literally, I'm going to be very selective on what I read next month. Um, and I already have in my head what I really want to read and what I want to get to. So my pick was Someday Maybe. And this is by Anyi Nawa Benelli. I'm sorry if I'm not saying the author's name right. I do apologize. Um, but this cover is mostly what got me. And then the storyline what got me right after I saw this cover. Uh, so let me go ahead and read the synopsis. And like I said, this is the book of the month pick that I chose for November. And so it says, here are the three things you should know about my husband. One, he was the great love of my life, despite his penchant for going um, incommunicado. Two, he was, as far as I and everyone else could tell, a perfectly was perfectly happy, which is significant because three, on New Year's Eve, he killed himself. Wow. And here is one thing you should know about me. One, I found him. And bonus fact, no, I am not okay. It says, Someday Maybe is a stunning and witty debut novel about a young woman's emotional journey through unimaginable loss, pulled along by her tight-knit Nigerian family, a, po a posse of new friends and the love and laughter she shared with her husband wow yeah this is going to be a deep read but I'm really looking forward to reading this and like I said I wanted to read this this month but I don't know if I'm gonna get get to it in time maybe I can I'm not gonna sell myself too short uh, maybe I can get through it but this really sounds good um and really heartbreaking but it, obviously she's finding a way to cope and and to grieve have your moment of grief and you know try to live day by day and see how it goes so I can't imagine like losing my husband and stuff especially with you know with him killing himself like that I can't imagine that and I can't imagine what I would like how I would feel or I know I would be I feel like I'd be sad but I also would feel I don't know like my emotions will be up and down so who knows who knows but I can only imagine what she she's going through in this book so definitely looking forward to reading this and see what happens uh, throughout the book and especially with the moment of processing of losing her husband um but yeah that is it and I promise that is it <laughs> those are all the books uh and li little things that are received in the mail um I really hope you enjoyed this video um if you did please 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 give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified when I upload more videos in the future but thank you so much for watching everyone and please stay healthy and stay safe see ya